folks, what's going on? Welcome back to Good Works Tractors. Today we are gonna do some planting. We have a really cool screening product that grows like this tall or taller. Even though it's mid-June right now, we wanted to let things dry out a bit. And of course, had a torrential downpour last night, but today is a day to get it done. We're gonna make it happen one way or another. We are on a really strict schedule as far as when I can shoot video, uh, besides you know when I have to run the rest of my business and everything else. So we're gonna make it happen. Not ideal, already had our first hiccup that happened today. We were gonna use, I had every intention of using the green 70, sorry, 84 inch dirt dog tiller on the Kubota. I've used that uh, on my four series tractors previously. Went to hook it up today realize the PTO shaft needs to be cut down. Somehow, there's more space on that 4720 between the three-point hitch and the PTO splines than there is on the Kubota. So we don't have any tools out here. We're in the, we're in the middle of nowhere uh, on the other side of town. So we threw on the disc, okay? We have to disc up one more time uh, for planting. Hopefully it works out well. Weeds are growing in. You're gonna see our amazing weed control program too, which is, I'm being sarcastic, it's non-existent. We haven't done any weed control in the plots, but uh, we're gonna make it happen, get that done. Then we're gonna come back through with this cedar you see right here. I bought this thing on Amazon, all right? So it was the cheapest cedar I could find. Most of the cedars out there are way too much money. It's pretty much ready to go right now, so we're gonna give her a, give her a go, see what happens. Uh, so stick around for that video too. All right, so you guys have seen me use this disc a couple of times, so most of the areas we've disc already we're going to redisc that should be okay even with uh, the moisture in it i think made in america disc right here dirt dog we sell and ship all their products all over the country we do it with all of our stuff but it is a sweltering 90 some degrees today that's the high we try to get out here a little earlier to get it started but uh we're gonna do what we can make it happen let's get to work folks so we have several distinct areas that we're doing today and the first area that we are disking up to prep to plant is going to be along a property border so it's one of the few I'll say exposed areas to where the neighbors can can easily see and I kind of want to prevent that from happening you know I just want there to be a, a nice established wall established screen for uh, for the deer for you know hunting season coming up but the other areas we're doing it for are not really, well, they're sort of for the deer, for deer hunting purposes, so screening for us entry and exit to deer stands, but also once all these leaves drop, it's a lot more exposed in general around here, and so I want to screen some of the property off. We have a real problem with trespassers, and so I'm just trying to keep them at bay as much as possible, and this is just another measure for that too. So again, this first area is going to be unique from the other areas that we're disking up because we use an all-purpose plow on this first and so kind of did more of a deep rip on it. Um, you'll see that done with the 1025R in a previous video. Then we came back through, we did a comparison showing you um, what just using that plow looks like versus using a tiller. And the tiller did provide much better results. 
Later on this year, while we had the disc hooked up, after things had dried out a bit, we went over that area with a disc again, chopped up some more sod clumps, kind of just kept working the ground a bit. This has sat, well, fallow, I guess, for years and years and years and years and years. So just needs to be turned and worked a bit. And you can see how much weed growth has popped back up and grass and everything has just come back to life as uh, spring has really sprung and we're nearing um, officially the start of summer pretty soon. But I say all that to show you so you can visualize how good these results look to some of the later results on the other areas when we have plowed, we've disked, we've tilled, we've disked again, disked again, that kind of thing. So we've done a lot of work in this particular area with a lot of different tools. I think that has made a difference compared to the other areas coming up. As always, we're sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. They are made in America, have a lifetime warranty. If your tractor feels tippy side to side, especially if you have a cab on it, then adding a set of wheel spacers can make a big difference. Get more information on them at the link down below. Okay, so now we're doing a little bit of a strip plot. I think I want to put a screen here as well, although I wanted to put one on the other side of this plot too. And that's what I was planning to use the tiller for. The, the, the disc is just not really great at breaking up sod uh, as a first pass type of tool or a primary tillage tool, I should say. It's really good or a lot better for a finish tool is what I'm trying to show you guys in these videos. And so this area here had not been plowed, it had not been tilled. We've only used a disc and we've used one, uh, we kind of experimented in a previous video showing all different combinations of angles on the disc, different pitches, different speeds of the tractor, all sorts of different things. Didn't have amazing results. And so this had never been plowed, never been tilled. And we're back here today and you can see how many more passes it requires to get um, decent results. And I'm hoping 
that it's good enough to plant in. We may or may not plant in this just due to how rough it still looks after all these passes. There's a small little section that I end up giving up on, uh, maybe three foot wide or so that's right next to that food plot that I pretty much just threw in the towel and we may end up just not planting this, coming back with a tiller and really doing a good prep sometime soon. So this last area that we dissed up today is one of my favorite areas. I really like it. I think it's just kind of a, a pretty winding, meandering path that kind of goes around the border of the field and the property, kind of butts up to both sides of the main drive. So we've got four or five no trespassing signs. We've got a lock gate. Folks can't get anywhere beyond that point unless they, you know, really, really make a significant effort. But we've kind of, we're building up our, our fortress and our perimeter there. We have the big berms as well. Um, but this was a pretty straightforward, just a single down and back type of application. I do end up moving. There's a postal digger that's in the way. I moved that out of the way and there's a small section. Actually, it, it turned the ground up pretty good there and you can see that in action. Um, and I think we're gonna be ready to prep. There's definitely some moisture in the ground. You can see it clumps up a bit, but we're gonna give it a shot. It's a really, really hot day. The moisture, this is the first rain we've had out here well, at least uh, of any significance, at least in a week, I would say, probably longer than that. So the ground's been pretty dry, pretty firm. I think the moisture actually helped us dig down in and kind of break things up. If it was a lot harder, it could have been harder to penetrate the soil, but I guess we're gonna find out soon enough. So what you see going on, this is a, a utility tractor, all right? And so most utility tractors, like your John Deere 5 Series, like a 5065E, or, for example, or the, the Kubota M Series are gonna be a Cat 1, Cat 2 three-point hitch, all right? And so this is where it gets really fuzzy. You can run Cat 1 attachments or Cat 2 attachments. If you get a quick hitch, like what you see here, this is gonna be a Category 1 quick hitch mounted on this tractor. It's only gonna work with attachments that are Category 1 as well. Now this is a Category 1 disc that we have on here, so it works with the Category 1 uh, three-point quick hitch, the Spico, that does not use any bushings. So if we put a Cat 2 quick hitch on here. We could only use category two quick hitches that have a wider spacing left to right and top to bottom. And they also have a larger diameter pin size on there too. Now we have hooked up this disc directly to the three point hitch without the Spico on there at all. And you can do that. And you may need to put sleeves on your, on your pins that are on your attachment because the ball on the three point arm is gonna be a different diameter. So you just put a sleeve on there and it takes up that gap space. But trying to give you a little look, a little more understanding, especially for you guys in the utility tractor range. Alrighty folks, well, that is a good look at a dirt dog disc right there. Again, we've done these passes before, but this is the second or third time, roughly depending on the area. Doing a better job. I wish I had my tiller on here. Well, we had it on here, but the, again, that PTO shaft was just, we had to cut some down if we're gonna make it work. And we don't have those tools with us today, but we had to get this worked up and prepped to plant. We're gonna have to come back through with some sort of a, an herbicide. I'll have to check and see what is recommended and what is allowed after these seedlings are established, because no doubt it's gonna end up looking just like it did before we dissed this and the rest of the field that you see out here too. But overall, this went pretty smooth. I'm pretty happy. It was nice sitting in the AC uh, on a hot day like this, getting the work done. That is a Kubota M4D 071 tractor, in case you guys are wondering. So utility tractor, a step up from the large compacts, like your Kubota L6060, a John Deere 4066R. 
I'm finding this does run cooler. It doesn't even break a sweat, even in the sweltering heat. We're not running the PTO today, so um, not as much of a load on the tractor, but nonetheless, the AC is nice and cold. I'm, I'm, I'm sweating to death right now just standing here. I can't wait to get back in there. But if you are in the market for some tractor tools, we would love to help you out. We sell and ship all over the country. Go to goodworkstractors.com. Anything for the three-point hitch, all right? The discs, the tillers, brush hogs, blades, land planes, all that good stuff. Uh, snow blowers even, snow pushers, grapples, pallet forks, the list goes on and on and on. We'll have the size to properly fit your tractor too, no matter the paint color. If you enjoy tractor videos, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. We do have a merchandise store. If you wanna support our business, that would be great. We're not looking to make any money. We donate all the profits. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.